Hello. Today we explain the most important functions and settings of the ARRI Premio Plus 2G actuator. To access the Premio Plus control panel, remove the actuator cover. The great advantage of the ARRI Premio Plus 2G actuator is that the most important functions and settings can be set directly on the control panel of the actuator, and you can see at any time which functions are switched on or off. At the top of the control panel, we will see five LEDs. The colours of the LEDs, which correspond to NEMA 107, which gives us a quick overview of whether the actuator is ready for operation or whether a warning is present. A blockage, for example, is indicated by the green, red and orange LEDs lighting up together. Further colour combinations and their meaning can be found on the inside of the cover. The reset button is located in the row below the LEDs. Press the button for more than 4 seconds and the blue LED will light up to start the initialization process. After a successful initialization run, the green LED lights up permanently, indicating that the actuator is ready for operation. Now we come to the middle switch. The middle switch is used to move the actuator manually. When delivered, it is set to auto mode. In addition, the actuator can be manually closed, stopping in a desired position or opened at any time. The switch on the right is then used to set the control speeds. Here, there are four different control speeds which are preset in the switch stages 0, 1, 2 and 3. The individual switch stages and the associated control speeds can be found on the type plate. In our example, switch stage 0 equals 0 0.25 mm per second. Further setting speeds are possible due to different gear ratios. The three switches in the middle row are used to configure the analog control panel. The first switch here is used to set whether the analog input signal should be between 0 and 10 volts or between 4 and 20 MA. A three point control signal is also possible. The three point control signal is the default setting and would override the set control signal. In the standard version, the 4 MA input signal represents a completely extended spindle and the 20 MA input signal for a completely retracted spindle. With the switch in the middle, this signal can be inverted. We also have a failsafe switch. The failsafe switch can be used to set the end position of the actuator in case of a loss of the input signal, e.g. in case of a wire break. Here, it is possible to stop in the lower end position or to select the upper end position. Now we come to the bottom row. In the lowest row, various actuator functions can be switched on or off. First, we come to the force switch. With the force switch, we determine in which end position the actuator is to switch off when its full actuating force and thus the valve is to close tightly. For example, the lower end position for the straight through design or both end positions for the three way design. If the full actuating force is reached before the end position, this indicates that the stem or plug is blocked, e.g. by solid objects. When the anti-blocking function is switched on, the actuator tries to release this blockage in four attempts using an intelligent override algorithm. If the blockage cannot be released, this is indicated by a warning message. The last switch is the economy switch. The economy switch serves to minimize wear. Normally, the actuator reacts to every input signal. When the economy switch is switched on, it is ensured that the valve, the stem seal and the actuator mechanics are protected to the maximum by an adaptive hysteresis band without having any major influence on the control system. This mode also saves energy.